together Breaking things without words are hard to see live at our relation studios with david webb's burning bush recording live in the studio if i can keep my headphones on here <laughs> and a half out before we go back and talk about um earlier stuff let's talk about this new album new things you're recording how is that different from what you've done in the past uh so yeah the new album endless caresses um coming out super soon haven't announced the date yet so i can't reveal that quite yet um but uh for one thing it's the only um only recording that we'll have of this iteration of the group uh with jack willard on bass and paul saguna um yeah i've you know there's been some uh burning bush stuff put out before uh there are three singles in the beginning of 2018 um that had Paul and a different bass player uh, on those, but this will be the first one with this iteration. Well, tell me a little bit about you know deciding to to get this group together and, and you know why this is what you decided to do. Um, well, I guess um, you know I grew up playing in a lot of different bands, and over time, uh, I kind of realized that I really wanted to do something where I could uh, like lead a group, essentially, um, like music that I've written. Um, and so that was, that was something like this project, uh, The Burning Bush, started, I guess, like 2016, 2017. Um, and for a while, it was just me playing acoustic, um, just because I really couldn't find any other musicians um that you know had the time and uh and energy to put forward to it uh but you know i just kept doing the thing and then after a while got paul uh paul playing with me and then when the other bass player left uh hit up jack over here um he's someone i've played with for years um yeah, it just kind of, I don't know, just kind of happened. Well, tell me about the name. Did you go up on a mountain and, you know, have a, have a vision? <laughs> um, <laughs> How did you get Burning Bush? So I specifically remember thinking of Burning Bush as, like, a project name for myself when I was in high school. Um, I still had this, like, this hair back then. Everybody referred to me, like, various names that were in reference to my hair. Um and so, I don't know, I was kind of just like riffing off of that. I thought Burning Bush was like a funny thing, um, maybe a little like sacrilegious. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not like intentionally like anti uh, any religion or anything. Um, but yeah, uh, so it kind of came up back then. And then uh, 
I called it David Webb's Burning Bush just because there's like, there's other groups that have been called Burning Bush before. Um, but nothing that was David Webb's Burning Bush. <laughs> cool. You ready to play some more? Sure. Yeah, let's do it.
Thank you. You're listening to David Webb's Burning Bush here at Our Relation Studios, recording live at Our Relation Studios. David, do you remember the first time or the first piece of music that had a deep effect on you? Um, so, you know, I feel like there was music that impacted me before this, but definitely the first like band that I ever just really fell in love with was Queen. Um, How old were you? So that would have been like sixth grade. Uh, so about 10, 11. You remember, do you remember when you heard that? I mean, what it was, what song was it or what was the, I remember, gotcha I remember the album. I can't yeah. remember. Well, you know, actually, uh, dang, I was going to say, I can remember the album, so I should be able to remember the song cause it would have been the first track, but I can't think of what it is, but it is, it was their greatest hits. Just yeah. that like red, uh, red greatest hits with like their emblem with the Q yeah. and like the lines and whatnot. Um, yeah. When did you start writing your own songs? Um, so that would have been about age 13, uh, starting in high school. It was actually when I started playing guitar, um, around 13. Uh, and I just, I immediately wanted to like write my own stuff. I couldn't really play what, uh, you know, what I was hearing on the records and whatnot. So, um, writing my own thing was like a way that I could play within my limitations, I guess. Um, yeah. You remember the first time you played out for an audience? Oh. <laughs> no, I can't remember. I remember a lot of early like performances, but I don't remember which one was actually the first. Um, I remember the first time playing in a bar. Oh, really? Yeah, those uh, Long Branch Saloon. That's a that's a trial by fire sort of a place. <laughs> yeah. So tell me what that was like. Uh, so, yeah, actually, it was with this guy. Oh, my gosh. We were in different bands at the time, though. <laughs> uh, I was in a band called Maps Need Reading, and he was in a band that was called, I think it was Lines Taking Shape by that point. It may have still been Tubula Rasa. Um, yeah, dang, that's... That's a that's a little trip. That's crazy. That was the first time. I didn't realize that. <laughs> first time playing in a bar, like playing, I guess, like for the public that wasn't already my friends or something. Um, yeah. yeah, that's I, I think that's a rite of passage sort of a bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it really was. It used to be a really fun place. And then yeah. just a lot of. Yeah. Well, Stuff. um, are you ready to play some more music? Sure, let's do it. Give up, 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 give up. Give up music, give up guitar, give up happiness, give up fulfillment, give up sex, give up love, give up music. You've been in the game, playing just the same for damn near all your life. You picked up on the rules, you rushed out for the tools, you put away the white save time. Guzzle down your beers, talking in your ear, I'm the chip and I know all that your fears. I'm telling you now, I've been telling you for years, when you call it sweet tooth, oh everything, everything is white sugar from my hands, falling from my hands like sand. I eat turkey, a cavity, bub 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 deep deep deeper. White sugar falling from my hands, falling from my hands like sand. I eat turkey and cavity, bub 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 deep deep deeper. They put it in my hands and called it wonderful. It's all I say, dust in the wind. They put it in my hands and called it wonderful. Is all I say, dust and wind. A flat, 
A double flat, A flat, double flat, G flat, C, 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 D flat, and a G flat, A flat, A double flat, A flat, double flat, G flat, C, 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 D flat, and a D flat, and flat, double flat. A double flat, G flat, C, 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 D flat, and a G flat. Thank you. We're listening to David Webb's Burning Bush here at Our Relation Studios, recording live at Our Relation Studios. David, tell me about that song and how you wrote that. Okay, um, so that is a song called Give Up. So that is also part of this like upcoming album, Endless Caresses. Um, so uh, the album in general is sort of like uh, in the wake of things like the Me Too movement and uh, like more and more like actual progressive politics, like becoming regular conversation. Um, you know, as a person who receives male privilege and uh, and white male privilege at that, like, I guess I've had to take a, a look at myself and my own life and how this privilege has affected me, enabled me to do the things that I do. Um, but also how it's sort of like given me um, a set of instructions for like, these are the things that I do in life and I will be successful. And um, a lot of those instructions involve like utilizing my male privilege to build myself up, to build other males up. And, um, you know, this song Give Up is sort of like making the painful realization that in order for me to uh, to sort of like do the real like nitty gritty work, internal work for myself, um, like deconstructing these things like uh, white supremacy and like uh, heteropatriarchy, like um, I have to kind of give up like some of the things that, some of the goals that I had growing up. I have to give up like maybe, uh, certain ways of doing things that were like easy for me or that felt comfortable, but that were like, uh, sort of causing me to contribute to these problems. So, uh, yeah, it's super long winded. The next time I hear that song, I'm going to think about it totally differently. (laughs) 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 Well, when you write a song, I mean, do you write knowing what you want to want to go into that and, and what you want to say, or does it, I mean, are you with somebody who writes and says, Oh, okay, this is what I'm starting to write about. And Actually going. more like the latter. I kind of yeah. think I just kind of, a lot of times I just try to just try to write and then sort of like discover what is coming out in the process. And it's actually funny, like that whole, like, process of like discovering the art as it's like created is also sort of what this album's about like these songs when they were initially written had different lyrics uh that's the main thing they were like different lyrics a lot of the same music but after playing them for a while and like analyzing my own lyrics you know over time i would change them uh because i would sort of pick it apart and be like oh this is like some of these like candid uh, moments in my art before were actually sort of me. Uh, sometimes like the white man like would come out the most like in those moments like, uh, and so yeah, like this music I guess has changed. Now it's more like supposed to be a pointed deconstruction of this stuff, but it kind of started out as a candid reflection of yeah. like my own thoughts that contain some of these like harmful uh, narratives. In them. Well, I think it's cool when somebody has a, a deeper meaning in something. I mean, that sounds kind of, the song sounds light and kind of, you know, kind of fun. Yeah. And then hearing you explain it, it's like, now I'm going to listen to every, every <laughs> line. It's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's a really funny thing. You know, it kind of makes me think about like, um, like Bjork is a big, uh, big influence to me. Right. And she's someone who's always had this like real, like, almost like childlike sort of, um, like, I don't know, just way of being. Uh, and like her music is always really fun. Uh, but then it's like, sometimes you pick it apart and she's talking about some like really like, like dark, um, uh, dark, like disturbing things sometimes. Um, so yeah, I kind of like that juxtaposition of like fun, uh, fun loving and everything, but also like some serious, like matter that if you like dig into it, you know, can kind of be thought provoking. Cool. You ready, ready to play another song? Yes. All right. This will be the last one. Uh, this one's called Slip Em On, Cut A Rug. Uh, yeah, let me get my, my axe back on. Let's get sushi is my birthday. Karaoke is my birthday. I forgot to make plans, but hey! A little bit tonight, you go bomb, bomb, a bloke's choking. It's a new day, we should dance and dance. We're gonna jump out of this box and burn it down, we all imagine hot pants. Let's dawn this new day, it's time to hourglass hands. We can hold hands, just two bitches and hot pants. I said, ah! I wish you would just call up in my arms. I promise I will end the call. And Mohammed just paid half of my rent on these dick, babe, so I can look at you and say, Why don't you deny the for morning? Cut a rug got the bar. I wish you would just call up into my arms. I promise I will end the government of Muhammad. Just paid half my rent on these dicks. They felt dumb, but did it anyway. Why don't you and I sip a morning? A rug at the bar. 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 When the one to build a one tough so great past your cross blue in the snow so become the manifest heart song of a burning bush but with happiness to the new day the new day we should dance and dance we're gonna jump out of this box they are a match let's start this new day boy Miss I will the inflict her minimum I just outed myself by these dicks, babe Nothing left to lose, so hey Why don't you and I sip a morning Cut a rug at the bar uh, uh. The bar The rug at the bar uh.
That's David Webb's Burning Bush here at Arlation Studios. Be on the lookout for the next live from Arlation Studios and be on the lookout for new music from David Webb's Burning Bush. Yes. Thank you all.